Lululemon reporting earnings after the bell. That stock heading into the report vastly underperforming the markets, down 40 percent this year, putting it on pace for its worst annual performance since 2008. T.D. Cowan's John Kernan is with us now ahead of that. Prince, good to see you. Welcome here. Thanks for having me, Scott. Um, so what do you have on the stock? Buy, $437 price target. What's going wrong with this story? Yeah, we've got to buy in the stock for a long time. Yeah. Uh, the valuation multiples are at the lowest point since 2017. Uh, that was when the business was subscale. Margins were much lower. Uh, right now, competition uh, from some upstarts has certainly changed sentiment in the stock. Uh, we think guidance is actually conservative and they can actually raise it this afternoon. Why aren't those issues that you mentioned more significant for the long term, that the market share that this company has had, certainly on the premium end of what they do, uh, is going to erode more than people think because of the increased competition? Yeah, I think it's overpriced. This is one of the better financial models in retail. 50% return on invested capital. They print cash. Um, I think risk is actually to the upside for numbers from here. Uh, they, there's a huge buyback in place. They can buy back at least $2 billion in stock this year. That could add $0.40 cents plus the EPS. Competition's real. Uh, but Lululemon's grown $2.5 billion in sales in the Americas the last two years on top of that competition scaling from very little to maybe $2 billion in combined revenue. So we think it's overpriced here. You feel like you can accurately gauge what was the pandemic boom that a company like this got? You feel like you have your arms around the pull forward, which may have been much more significant than people actually think? There was definitely some pull forward. I think they also reached out to a new subset of consumers. Uh, they're much more diverse consumer, age, gender, income, ethnicity. and. There was a lot of customer acquisition really from the pandemic, really through last year. I mean, their top line results in the fourth quarter and the holiday of last year were quite good. But the North American top line profile and the North American stores are now comping negative. That's the first time that's happened in seven plus years outside of the pandemic. So investors are worried. We've reached peak growth, peak margins, and that's hence you get a crazy move in valuation. Sure. Well, what if we're also worried about what the consumer is going to be doing in the months ahead? Yeah, management certainly talked to the macro environment on the, the fourth quarter conference call and hinted that some of the weakness was macro driven. There were certainly some, I think, merchandising issues that, that hit them as well. And the competitive environment's gotten tougher. So I think the macro is pretty good. We were just at the TD Cowan Future of the Consumer Conference right down the street for the last two days. I think the theme is bifurcated consumer high-end consumers still in a good, pretty good spot, right? Stock markets at all-time highs, housing market prices are all-time highs. The high-income consumers in great shape. This, this company, it feels like, you know, ostensibly had this, this segment to itself. Yes. Um, like higher-end athleisure. Now the marketplace has undeniably changed, right? You go walk down the street, you, you know, Viore has its own brick-and-mortar locations, as do several other brands. Yes. Isn't that a more structural and secular change for this company? Yes, it's a big change. The barriers to entry in soft lines retail have never been lower. Social commerce has changed everything. Uh, brands are now scaling very rapidly. The upstarts, the other theme from the TD Count Future of the Consumer Conference was the upstarts are gaining massive share, particularly at the high end. Mm -hmm. in, a, in athletic apparel, you get the Vioris, the Allos, on footwear, you've got the Ons and Deckers, which both stocks are at all-time highs. They're gaining massive share from Nike. So there's the competitive environment is as tough as it's ever been. I don't think you have much gross margin risk with Lululemon. There's, they're not getting undercut in terms of price or promotion. The, sure, but the, if, your the margin, real, if your margins are holding up, but your traffic is not, and your comps are not, then it doesn't matter. It, 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 well, right I now mean, it, it matters, right. but you know what I mean. It doesn't make a difference. They need to prove that the Americas is a slowdown as a function of tough compares, which it is. Uh, their North American business in 2022 was up over 30 percent. It was up uh, mid-teens last year. So they've got very difficult mid multi-year stack comparisons, and that's playing a big role. That pandemic for and that that market they were in post the pandemic was quite strong. They're having trouble laughing. And what about return to work, lastly? Um, if we, as we move further and further away from the pandemic, do we get closer and closer to even incremental increases in return to work? And does that have an impact here, too? It does. The casualization theme certainly pulled forward some demand uh, post the pandemic. That was obvious. I think we've cycled that, though. There's a lot, of, the brand awareness for Lululemon is still very small. There's a lot of market share to be had. There's a multi billion dollar market that they play in. And you think it's still small? I Where? Mean, not in the U.S. Brand awareness brand is still. Brand awareness in the U.S. is small? Is, believe it or not, it's still low. And there's more customers to acquire. It's going to get a little harder because you've got two very disruptive brands in, in privately, that are privately held, mm -hmm. Biore and Allo, that are, that are 
here, they're not going anywhere. They're going to open a lot of more, a lot more stores. Uh, but Lululemon can compete in this market. They have a great financial model.